it's live. This means that the uh, mic is coming on very shortly. I think it might be on, so we'll, we'll find out very quickly. So let us know when it's live. Okay, we're live. Hi there again, everybody. This is Phil Simborg from Monte Carlo with another really, really exciting match. We're down to four players in the fighters bracket for the championship. Uh, and Fernando Bracconi is going to be playing Johan Moised right here. The winner of that will play the winner of Hans Libby and Zedek Ziska. And then the winner of that will play Sander Lila for the championship. A single game. Now, this match is being played now, and it's uh, about 5 o'clock. At 10 o'clock tonight, the two winners of these two matches will meet, and then the finals will be tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Keep in mind, it's Monte Carlo time. Uh, I'm very, very honored to have my good friend from England here, Simon Barget. Uh, Thank you, Bill. Uh, announcer, and uh, he's a grandmaster, so he is smarter than he looks, and I will rely on him uh, for a lot of the analysis. Oh. Because we don't have XG. I only just realized. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of guy my kind of guy okay so let's get going hit the like button uh, if you're watching this live or later the more likes the better and let's get moving you can see fernando is uh, on the bottom he just played a little while ago and so did no hand to, to get here uh i've played with both players and known them both mostly from monte carlo for a long time although i spent some time with fernando in Trier, Germany at the uh, team championships last year. Just a fun guy. Loves to shoe at. Okay, we don't see anything unusual going on here. I love that slot of the five point and making the anchor. Makes it much safer to yeah, once you make yeah, your, what's yeah. called the golden point. You can play pretty much forever without worrying about getting gammon. Makes the deuce, yeah. Make the deuce. You can speak a little louder right in Yeah, there. so almost touching, but it, it looks right up against okay, the... Okay, well, kiss it. All uh, right, out is clear, and um, pretty simple, obvious plays so far. Yeah, very, very um, standard game. Yep. We are. Well, I'll bring the last one in, but that's just technique. Really? Yeah, crossovers. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a play I didn't even think about. I just didn't know which was. I thought, okay. So and again, I bring one in for because you're not you're not going to get a shot, so you want to bring one down for sure. In case it ends up becoming a pure race, you're saying. Correct. There's no shots coming. I mean, he's not leaving a shot with anything uh -huh. really. Six four. He'll just clear the eight uh -huh. point. Well, that's a big roll. Now you stop and do a pip count. One hundred two, one hundred six, forty eight, one hundred two, one fourteen. So he's eight up after the roll. Wow, you did that fast. I am fast. Oh my God, that was. Impressive. I am fast. That was. Fast. I don't know where I get that from. I don't. It's know the only thing I'm able to do. in wow, I want to bring in the life. We spent hours in our shuet counting pips and arguing about. Yeah, it. but it might be wrong. <laughs> That's the only thing is it might be wrong. You're fast but not accurate. Huh? That was impressive. Mm -hmm. You said he, he was up 18, you think? 8, 8, 106, 114, okay. so now... a running count from there, now he's down 1, right? Right. <laughs> I, Very I good. Do. No, but I'm, I just want to coach people and use a running count so you don't have to count more than once. Yeah. So, White's up 9. Up 1, rather, and now you know 1 can't be a double. Make it 106 yeah. now. And if it's true that it's one, it's uh, one six, he's taking his time. There's no reason not to. And look at this. He's using up a lot of his clock to count pips. That's something Simon did in about five seconds. Yeah, I miscounted. So it's actually black 106, white 105. So black is up one. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. No, no black I is up. I had white up one. Okay, so black is now up 11. 11. Okay. And in a race of this long, you better be up about seven or eight or nine before you start thinking about cubing right <clears throat> and this isn't a pure race there's a possibility of contact but the contact possibility is very small so you treat it just like a race until somebody gets stripped or stacked or whatever six four is a very good roll remembering the average rolls are a little over eight so it's 50 is it 15 i i'm letting you do that i think it's now seven okay Seven is nowhere near enough, I don't think. Oh, I was I was about to say it's close until you said, yeah, you were probably right. 
you notice he's got like these two silly crossovers yeah. with I runs. I like that he filled the open three point there. Almost a lot of players just reflexively play from the back, which is really wrong. Walter Trice wrote a, an article on that long ago about how wrong it is to stack that six point up. Mm. Except when you're trying to get off a gammon, of course. Very, very close. This game is going to be all about the dice. They're both going to play this game at zero PR from here, probably. It's going to be all about the dice. It says, Guan uh, Summon Gilvan is commenting, the audio is saturated. Maybe I'm too close to the. Martin Holmes said you were fast and correct. Ah, I'm too close to the mic. Okay. I told you you were, didn't I? No, you. S <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know. I, I have to get used to your uh... stupidity. <laughs> All right. What's going on? What Who's formula? On what formula do you use to determine the cube action in the situ situations like this? I don't, I don't have one. I you don't, don't have a formula. I just do the percentage. Really? I remember reading Roberti, and I just use that. Wow. I. Here I, John O'Hagan uses ZPC, then he adjusts for Matusik, then uh, throws in a little Walter Trice and, uh, and a little bit of uh, other stuff, and we both can probably can both come to the same conclusion. Most people agree the most accurate, if you can do it, if you can figure it out, is using EPC here, which yeah. is loaded into your uh, Extreme Gammon, and yeah. we'll give you the answers. I've, I've been practicing, and I'm getting faster at it. So 53.55. Two pips is never and, enough, and the same number of checkers can't be enough. Never enough. Can't be enough. Okay, nothing wrong with taking your time. You got lots of time in this match. There's a very good roll that could lead to a cube if you get a really bad roll here for White for Johan. They're laughing and joking. And there's a really bad roll, and now it's probably a cube, and it might not even be a take. Let's see. Oh no, big pass. Big pass. 42.52. Yeah, this is uh, not close. Actually, I can, if we, if we um, disagree, I've got my... <laughs> I've got my little... And I've got mine too. We all have extra... Oh, you, you... I helped develop it. <laughs> In fact, I won lunch today from Chris Trencher playing a one-point match, and he outplayed me as usual. He played at point oh two, and I played at point oh seven. at one-point matches. It was really fun competition. Could you step back just a little? Thank you. Okay. Pretty simple game, just a race, one nothing. This is a it's a big match. This one, a big match. Six one. There's a lot of money involved as well as the prestige of uh, getting to the finals of the most prestigious tournament in backgammon. There's nothing like this tournament. If you I have a chance to come. The, the vibe here, the, the the tournament itself, the way it's run. I think this is too big. I think this is too big because he's made the five point. I would definitely think about make coming up to the 22, but he definitely gets punished as well. I, I might have made that play. I pretty, I, I, in spite of hearing you say it, you think it's too big. I saw well, against the five point, it's yeah. like, and you've only got the four point, and yeah. now this is like, and bang, and it's in the region of a pass, I would guess. Oh, he, he just snaps it up. He grabbed it. Good for him. Three versus well, maybe, maybe it's now it's a big pass. You make the two. You made I was just about to say, ask you the same question. I do. I don't know. I do. I don't. I don't by instinct, but I just like to have the eight um, point. I don't want to get hit back with double four two six. I, I don't. I'm seventy percent sure that you make the eight point. I'm sixty-eight percent sure. Too close to the mic. Shania. Shania. I like this play. I like this play. I'll bet you. Uh, okay, you got a dollar. Okay. Maybe if somebody's out there watching. Uh they say you're still He's taking it back. They say you're still too close to the Oh, really? He's taking... Mm -hmm. There's no roll here that can send you back. Now the only good roll for white is 4-3. Right. Now, double 4. Double 4 and 4. Okay, 2-6 doesn't hit. My bad. Of course. 
But maybe this is right. I liked it. Yeah, Morton confirms. Well, there's another reason why. You've already turned the cube. And Morton's just said. Yeah, it's uh, it's best. You've already turned the cube. You owe me a dollar. No, I'm right. What, what are you talking about? 13.3. Oh, 13.3. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I like 13.3 and 13.2. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying 13.3 and 13 and, 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 and to the two point. Yeah, right. he's saying 13.3 twice. Oh. Oh, I see. Is he your is he your partner on these bets? Morton, old Morton. He seems to like me. <laughs> okay, I owe, you, I owe you one. Yeah, this turned out really bad. But that you can't play results. I I I, I don't use that as an excuse. What do you do here? I just play quietly off, you know, I play quietly off the 11 point. I'm mm -hmm. not going to volunteer a shot. Thank My you. instinct is to leave a shot because now he falls and threes, he makes the point, and then your sixes are bad. So 6-5, six, 6-4. Five, six, 6-5 six, and 6-4 are bad. I think you play 13-4. It seems weird, but I think you do. This is clean. You get two crossovers. But you do leave a 1-3, which is very bad, and a double 1. A 1-4? One and a 1-4. And, and, and a double 6. And a double 1 ain't bad, and a double 6. I, I don't volunteer here. Maybe you just play to the 2-point. If you do this, you play to the 2-point. I agree. No, this is not. Now 6-3 is very awkward. And 6-1 six, and 6-2 six, are slightly more awkward. Yeah, I like leaving it six, back. 6-4 leave shots. Yeah. Six five and six four leave shots. But the question is, was this a take in the first place? He just snatched it. Does anyone know if it was a take or pass? Please but help. This guy, Johan Zucre, they're both grandmasters. Uh huh. So I when someone makes a decision that quickly, I have confidence in, in them. I believe if they're that good, they probably know. No, I just did Johan's last match and he did a very very quick blunder too mm. so he, he's playing too quick borderline pass Morton says okay thank you borderline pass so you just snatched it yep I was thinking like why not just take your time well you're sure you're right and you you can't you, yeah you it's like take a time when you're sure you're right yeah uh, and how many times have you been sure you're right and you were wrong <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I think it happened yeah, to be twice. Funny. No, it's a true thing, yeah. and you're just so sure. It's a... I stopped betting my house after my, after I lost three houses. Okay, there's a few numbers here that hit, and he certainly would if he could, and he can't. Yeah, he didn't have yeah. to leave six numbers. Yep. Yeah. Four checkers on the ace. It's about 50% gammons. It's about a 50-50 gambit situation. So have it memorized. Two on the ace is about 15%. Three on the ace is about 35%. And four on the ace is around 50% gambits, assuming that all the other checkers are I'm in. going from about here. Is that too close? Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, I don't know if we have... Uh I've got our audio engineer on the case. <coughs> well, maybe your voice is just naturally slurry. You know, have you checked that out? I, I haven't it, recorded myself. Could be nothing, nothing to do with the microphone. Yeah. What's going on? All to play. I I'm not sure. I like this. No, this is wrong. Yeah, this makes it harder to come in without leaving a shot. No, yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. My you numbers are in, all the opponent's checkers I, are in. I have yeah. to say, I thought Fernando would know all these plays. This uh -huh. is not right, I don't think. It just leaves a bad double five. For no reason. We got enough like buttons hit. It, it doesn't show up on, on, our, on our computer, all the likes. But hit the like button, please. I just need to be back a little bit further. Okay. Oh, by the way subscribe and like and love every video of the backgammon academy
Parce que ma YouTube, je Ah ah! You're on Backgammon Galaxy? No, it's called back, the back, Backgammon Academy. It's a YouTube. Academy, yeah. okay. I've got a Backgammon, i got a YouTube channel too. It's called Phil Simborg. BJ Simborg. <laughs> it's BJ Simborg. Called Phil Simborg. Oh, it isn't? It's BJ Simborg? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> it's linked to my Facebook account. PJ is my yeah, middle I've, name. Uh, I've seen it. All right, come off the six. I know it. Yeah. There we go. Now, since people don't like to do that because they say, oh, boy, if I roll a six, five. Yeah. Clear from the rear is the basic theory here. What if you roll a six, two? That was a good play, then. Just wants to avoid rolling fours. That's a good roll. Get two checkers moving. It might really help him get off this gamut. That's forced by logic. Now you don't want to roll any threes. Exactly what I was thinking. But I didn't say it. I let you say it. When I'm playing doubles with my partner, I turn to him and say, I don't want to roll a three here. They usually hit me. And I don't, because I don't believe in that. Yeah, I have stuff. the same thing. Yeah, yeah they, I, they I just do. don't care. I'll they also say tell it. me, shake your dice properly. Right. Like, give it some... <laughs> energy and i'm like what difference and i'm always using a baffle box see uh, it, this is my fault because i was the one that kept saying threes what else are you gonna do well there's some like two yeah. one is like a pretty gin number here oh didn't make it he had 20 numbers that hit 16 that miss but if he hits it's nowhere near gin with those two open points and blots and probably would have hit and covered one or lifted or something but He's decided to give up. This is a give up play, and I, I don't disagree. You don't want to waste any pips. You want to get off the G? Okay. Just go with it. Go for it. Ah, he just gave up? Is he just gave right? up. He just is gave that up. the right and, thing to do? I thought it was. I thought it was. I mean, what's... But he can't save it. Oh, he can save I it. I think he can save he it. Can That's save the point. It. That's the reason. Just... He needs to save it. He really needs not to be... Five, five nil down. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that, huge. That, that packs a bunch. Uh, I think he saves it. If he plays this right, oh, it's forced. He had to take one off. Okay, that's a good save. This is a weird thought. I think the profile is a little bit like Ron Rubin. A little, there's a little touch of the yeah, Ron Rubin. Yeah, Rubin's a little chunkier, a little heavier, and uh, a little older. <laughs> Ronnie's a good friend of mine. Ronnie, right, I started out in playing bridge. I was a life master, and Oswald Jacoby converted me to backgammon. And Ronnie is that. one of my idols. He's an incredible bridge player. I knew that he plays bridge. Yeah, he's a great bridge player. Kit Woolsey is certainly the best backgammon bridge combination player. Kit's, I think, ranked number five in the world in, uh, in bridge. He's not far from there in backgammon. For sure. So apparently it was wrong to, 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 to go. Ah, Morton says, "Wrong to go." That's yeah. interesting. A one fifty blunder. That's pretty big. And maybe, I would have, I would have gone too. Maybe eleven. Maybe two down was eleven was better there. Uh -huh. than I'm coming in on three and hitting. I don't. I you always fight for that five point. Coming in on three and hit with the one. That's me. Mm. I think that's pretty common. Ah, oh, you get look, great to see Simon. God, oh, that's such a nice high mop up. He's one of my um, apparatchniks. Huh. All right, no, I so I thought with hit the two. One, hit you could two. Also come in on the twenty-four because it's a bit dangerous to come in on the twenty-two. Well, you're not going to get hit twice. Oh, well, he did, didn't he? <laughs> Sorry about that. So any cube action? Maybe. No, no way. Well, three, two, two, one. Double three, they're powerhouses. Yeah, but there's a response, and then he doesn't even lose his market if there's any kind of a decent response. I don't right, think this, this could a, be a cube. This is a cube. You think it's a cube, and yeah. I don't. You got another dollar bet. I, just because if you roll double four, double three, three two, <coughs> he doesn't anchor up. I don't even... I take these just because they're so much fun. Two one. There points on him. Points on him, right? If he doesn't roll a three... Or a 5-2 or a 5-4. Or something that comes in and hits on the other side. That's a lot of numbers. Okay. That's a great roll. Why? I, I might hit there. I might hit here. You're not afraid to get hit. I think this Or you is can come up too. I would do this. You wouldn't hit. Okay. Q by 49, big take. 
So I, I'm two dollars up. This is the easiest money I've ever. Wait a minute! I said it was a take. We were betting on a double. It was a cube. Oh, I didn't. I see. I didn't think it was a cube. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You take change. I'm going to be able to pay for like a tenth of a burger in the bar later. Not Late. that. Not that much. <laughs> Without the bun, maybe. Yes, what Simon is alluding to is Monte Carlo is not the cheapest place on earth to be, but it's worth every penny. Oh, it's such a It's beautiful so place. beautiful. I'm so upset. I have to leave here in a couple of days and go to that Portofino or, and then Greece. It's just to have to leave here and go to those uh, you're, you're ugly four, places. Your third home, your third... Uh, no, just traveling. You've got four in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> you live in so many different places, I can't right. keep track. I live in so many different places because I keep getting kicked out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on up. Yeah, want to? You want to have a flyer? Get get up. I love this. I love this play. I know that white's a big favorite here, but I'd rather be black because it's just so much fun to win these games. I love playing back games, and it's very hard to defend back games properly. Mm. Now, in my book, a 1-3 back game needs to be down about 100 pips to have really good timing. No, 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 no. No, sorry, I wasn't saying. No. I was doing... You're talking about the play. you to make the fight. Yeah. Haven't you? I hate having that spare checker on the five point that's throwing a checker away. Mick Larson is sitting behind me. He's not sure. Yeah? Okay. If Mick's not sure, then that's probably the right answer. Somewhere in between. Not sure. Ding. I'm coming out. I want to get hit. I need more pips. I need more timing. I you don't I like this. I'm coming out. Okay. I know I'm short of timing. So who has the two one? Ah, this is after making the ten point. This looks reasonable to me. I think I would make the ten. Well, I play a lot and study a lot with Jim Pasco, and he plays these back games incredibly well. And it's all about timing. Timing is your number one, two. And three end distribution are your major major concerns in these games. Once you, once you solve the cube or gotten the cube. Well, well, you can just make the nine. The problem is if he then rolls a six and makes your bar, you're not real happy that way. You're letting yeah, him have the three. Yeah, I like yeah the, yeah. the three point and the bar point. That's kind of a diff. That's kind of troublesome. <laughs> I'm not afraid to. Black's timing I'm not afraid is, to is you know. suddenly mediocre. It's, it's getting better every roll because he was hit and he's dancing. Timing is getting better. <laughs> He'd love to come in with the three. That's the distribution he needs to be able to pop out. <clears throat> and now I say his timing is getting decent. I'm. I'm not sure. I'm sliding the back there. I, I don't mind getting hit. Yeah, maybe. They're playing it so fast. I, you know, I don't really. Well, why this one? And why not the other one? Hmm. It would take me a while to figure that out. Why one? I prefer the front one. In case he comes out, I have more ways. To hit him and maybe you do want to hit him now overtime him i clear the bar here if i can and i can't but it's forced you gotta like fernando's chances here his timing got really good so, yeah and a one three back game is very strong except when you're three nil up you don't really want this type of game Good point. When you're winning, yeah. you'd rather not play back games because when they go wrong, you get gammoned a lot. 
Maybe this, you give the shot. No, if there's a blot in the inner board, I give the shot, I guess. I like this play. I play it safe. <clears throat> Slot the two and bring the four down. Yeah. Why not slot the two? He's afraid, afraid he's going to get a shot right now and he yeah. doesn't want to have a blot in his board. Uh -huh. There's no way he gets a shot right now. See what I mean? I knew that. That is just the nuts. I two wish one. I really did know those things. Uh, that is just the nut. 2 1. <coughs> okay, but after 6 5, gap on the 5 point is not good. So we can see the timing was probably just a little suspect. He'd like to have a couple more pips here. He might he might do some crashing unless he gets a shot soon, and here it is, though. Now, there's some scores where it, this is a, a cube, but not really at any kind of a normal score. People make a mistake of cubing with a double shot. They think about the 20 hits, and they forget about the 16 misses, and how disastrous it is when you miss. So clearly it was right to roll and not cube there. Mm -hmm. I come off that ace point, I think. I don't there's too oh, yeah, many ways sure. too many ways to get hit back or pointed on with double ones. Well, I really double ones is is about it. No, but he'll hit you loose. With yeah. Two one, one four, yeah. two four, two three. You you definitely come off the ace point. I'm surprised he doesn't this is for me as an insta play. It's me like, too. I, I instantly come off the ace here yeah, too. I think you just go to the fourteen or that's pretty much all you can do. Or you could bring the the 14 uh -huh. to the 9. Although he's thinking if he comes in with the 2-3, you want to be on the ace point. I don't think you want to get hit, I think is the idea. I think you Yeah, getting hit makes it harder to you contain to that checker. You've got, he's only got three checkers off. You're close to uh -huh. being able to claim the, the game. Just make the... Uh... Okay, 1s and 7s. So this is why maybe you wanted to play 14-9 uh, and not 19-14, because okay. you got more numbers. But Split and come around with the back one so that you have two covers for the bar. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is this a cube? Uh, is that three checkers off? was no. Just make it and then double part, redouble pass. If like, I was losing 0 3, I'm doubling for sure. Thing is, you can just roll 2 1, 3 1, um, double 4. You don't make it and you're in, you're in a bit of trouble. So I think my sense is you make it first and then if he doesn't come in, you just claim. If you make it and he comes in, it might not be a redouble. If he comes in on the two point, I mean. Yeah. Well, I'm going to ask Mick. I don't think so. I'm cubing. I'm cubing. I'm going on record as saying I'm doubling here. Because I'm not completely sure he has a take. I would say this is a pretty big blunder to cube. Really? A 3 nil up, yeah. Of course, you always have to take he, the score into account. Jan is desperate for Fernando. You can see on his, like, uh -huh. he's desperate. For, <laughs> he's trying you're to a, dissemble his You're lead. a poker player, huh? You read no, your faces? I, I, <laughs> he rolled. Makes a great point. Oh, and then he makes... Yeah. So he, if he doesn't come in now, it's got to be a redouble pass, I would say. I would think if he comes in, I don't know what's going on. That's it. Yep, he came in and left the blot. Coming in? I'm doubling. I'm sorry. I like this cube. He hits him with any four. Four, 11, 12. If he doesn't hit him, he'll bring builders into the zone. So Mick, Mick and I agree that this is more likely to be n not a cube than a cube. Okay. I guess if the score is reversed, it's, it's a cube then, huh? For money, this is a pass, I think. A redouble pass. Or maybe a redouble take. I don't know. Feels like he wants to recube. I want to recube. Hey, he will be taken. He's with me. Sure. He's with me. That I will be. I'll bet one dollar. You got it. That Johan's not going to pass. Oh, that no, I, I, <laughs> I'm. No, I, I know. That's not the bet. I can put it through. No, he's playing. Let's go. go. No, worry, worry about it later. 
Five two. See, this is why it's a cube. He rolls a joker like this. He can hit him or make the ace point. Engin agrees with me. Engin uh -huh. Ongul, uh, uh -huh. the, the one of the founder members of the Battersea Backgammon Club. It's all about your community members. Yeah. So, excuse me. They, they really don't want you to do that. They don't. They don't. I, I know. I, I like it, but they really don't want it. I'm sorry. So he he came in. Yeah. I think he has to do that. But now when when White Springs are six, there's not very much coverage. Ah. Oh, what happened? It's his roll again. No, he, he had to figure. He oh had, no, he just he had to play the five too. Right, that's why we don't want to be distracted. Okay, now you make the now he's made the ace. It's it's a lot stronger for white. Yes, but now black has got fives and fours to hit. A hit and dance, you lose your market, right? Now I'm thinking, with only three or fives and fours to hit, it could. Feels like claim. Hip fan claim feels like it's right, but I'm confused. Eight cube wins you the match. But you're never winning a gammon on a four cube, of course, which is a big deal. So you can only have the wrong side of the gammon equation, you can only get gammoned. Imagine you get gammon on a four cube. You go down eight three. He rolls. You hit. He rolls one six. You fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's also and keep in mind. It's like you're eight three down. Let's also keep in mind. There's a reason they're being streamed. This is a big match. It's not like you're just playing for the fun of it and you're trying to decide whether to cube or not. These guys spent a lot of time yeah. and money to get here. Exactly. You and put a tremendous up. amount of work here. And you don't. You're right. You yeah, don't want to screw I up. I totally agree. I don't care how much you smile or how easy going you are this is huge i think he should just take all the time yeah that he can f this is huge think about the, what needs to be thought about yeah. in order to solve the until you've been in this situation until you've been in a high pressure situation you know you know people look at me i'm laughing and smiling all the time on the outside that's a that's bravado inside i'm going crazy when i'm in a finals of a major tournament or in a money round like this i I've never been this That's far in Monte Carlo, but I've been in the area, yeah, many rare, tournaments. It is a rarity. Yeah, I you just you're rarely in. <laughs> no, but I'm telling you, this there's pressure involved. I like. Oh, the, he does. I like this cube a lot. Okay, so this is like a Hollywood. He's gonna. I mean, is he gonna pass? Is he gonna pass? I don't think so. This is a bit of like pretending. I don't know why he would. Just checking, maybe. No. Passed. He passed. Uh, really, Morton? It could possibly be. It could be. Could be. I don't fault anybody for passing that cube. I would have cubed the roll before. Once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just need six, and you can get gammoned. So, um, if okay. anyone can put that in, I can. Five nothing. What a swing! He was getting. That's a great roll. That's a great roll. Big it, blunder to pass. You know, it says double take for the last three rolls, though it was a yeah, cube. Yeah. Bigger take on the loss. So it actually got worse. Oh sure. When he made the one point. Thank you, Michael. So I was in the ballpark. How big was the double on the previous? And I was screaming double, double, double for three rolls. And Michael, I'm going to assume that you knew it was a redouble, so yeah. he was holding the cube onto it. It wasn't yeah. an initial cube. Right. I mean, sometimes people want to pass because they just feel that they feel better to just to go 5 nil down and cut their losses. Or I don't know. They well, got a feeling about it. Or look something. at uh, Zednik is still alive, and Wilcox is gone. They had a 16 cube. <clears throat> I didn't know that. I didn't watch it because I was doing commentary on another match, but that's Jeff, how the match ended on a 16 cube that Zednik won. Jeff Jeff says it was a no redouble, two points, 20, 270 blunder to pass, but I may have set it up wrong on XG. Yeah, I remember 
I think Jeff, you have set up the position <laughs> wrongly on XG when you watch my stream. But I've had some. Not. I had some of the most unbelievable results ah, at oh, XG. Apologies. Put it in wrong. Yeah. 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 You were right. You were right. Not a cube. No. Big blunder. So I'm. This makes me like, you know, I question he myself when I lose. He said he put it in wrong. He said he put it in wrong. I could, and you see how all my decisions are right. And why am I losing? <laughs> why do I question myself? You're what? losing because you're playing the wrong game. You got to play a game that's all skill. Poker, P more poker. No, oh, that's back. Game. Chess. Play a game that's all skill. Oh if no, no, no. What I mean is more like <laughs> bluff, more bluff, more reading oh, okay. your. What happened there? Yeah, Michael. I think you put in the cube from the middle. I'm guessing rather than. I've had some incredibly wild uh, analysis from XG. And I realized I had the wrong color checkers at each side. Yeah, that, I've you get some that. really you get some really fun numbers that way. Yeah. Okay, so five one to Fernando. <laughs> so when you give a double that your opponent pass. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna just. Oh this, yeah. This, this is very no, no, no. This cannot be. Five one up cannot be a part. I don't even know about the deck. I wouldn't have doubled. No, being very conservative with the cube here. So Fernando has a read. You know how quickly he doubled it with such great confidence. But there is some. There is, you talk about poker. There's yeah, a there poker is. There. there is some mileage to that for sure. Uh -huh. I doubled Steve Sachs in my match against him uh, very quickly. Yeah, Thomas. Thomas, though, was it was it even a double at five one up? I mean, what what's your gain? So, best yep. case, you win a gammon, you go nine one up. But the worst, the the downside is huge when you turn the cube yeah. at five one up. And the recube big is huge. Okay. Sure feels good after you make the ace point to see a guy roll one off the bar anyway. That's the only time I like making the ace point. It vindicates me a little bit. Not that he was wrong to make it here. So the, the, this is looking... Look at he's 6-1 up. He's just rolling. The guy's still on the bar. He makes the nine point. Maybe he could cube if the guy fans. Maybe. Just needs to. He, even at this score. I'm taking. I'm taking. The question oh, is, is yeah. it a cube? Uh, you just roll a, a seven or an eight, and you're you you just fade the four, five, four, two, four, three, four, and you're good. I now, mean, when you're leading 6-1, I call this a very aggressive cube. I think it's an easy take. Easy take. But it could be a cube. You're way up. He dropped again? Wow. Wow. Maybe he's got... Is he dyslexic? Does Maybe he's got the score reversed. <laughs> maybe he yeah. has. Uh, Speaking of that, do you know what a dyslexic? Do you know what a dyslexic? Do you know what a dyslexic atheist insomniac does? I need a few seconds. A dyslexic atheist insomniac. Eats the. Uh, no. He stays awake all night, wondering if there really is a dog. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could have got that. You could have. You could have gotten that. Yeah. With wow. a few, like a few. Okay. A number, well, a number maybe, of hours. Maybe we should watch the game. Let's do that. 6 1 was a clear drop. Okay. All right. That's my big first big mistake. A clear drop. Good for him. Okay. At least I spotted the double. I thought it was an easy take. I don't know. Me too. Especially at that score. Two point. Well, kudos. Two so. points, only because everything else looks really ugly. Yeah, he was down a fair bunch of pips. That's why I thought it was a cube, Thomas. But um, I, yeah. Anyway. What is it for? Five, she's got a two to play. For, for, for white? Yeah. 
I like this play. Hit two. Uh, what, no, you make the point. Make what the point. You see, make the five right? point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh well, boy. Something. Oh boy. Do things change much from six one to seven one? I don't think they change that much. I would think about that and probably not be able to come to a, yeah. a useful conclusion. <laughs> Three blots. He better. He better come in now. This is you can wipe out. It's like one oh. of those poker hands where where um. If you roll well, you're like you wipe him out, and you know, the game's over. Uh huh. Maybe that's enough, even at this score, but. I don't understand the theory well enough. 7 1 is extreme. Well, you're going to drop even a little faster at 4 away because when you turn the cube, a gammon wins the match. I know, but you're leading by 6. The differential 6, that's yeah. enormous. That is enormous. You don't want to give the cube away, even at 4 away. You just kind of want to win an undouble gammon. But I'm not sure. And double gammons are against my religion. I haven't written my four away, ten away book. Yet. Uh huh. Somebody there needs be a book on every school. Somebody needs to do it. There will be soon, and I am just not at liberty to tell you who's working on it because I confidential information. But you'll have it soon. Well, I I can reveal that I've been working on. I've I've got it half written. I just can't. Yeah. I'm too lazy to <laughs> to like. Well, then buy Dirk Scheman's book because you'll get all the insights you need from that about those cubes. Oh no, it's more it's even more detailed, I promise. I don't want I don't usually um You've read Dirk's book? Yeah, I've got Dirk's book. It's brilliant. It's but no, brilliant. I mean on brilliant. match scores. I've done an uh, analysis of all the scores in a seven point match for um Gammonish cubes. Uh -huh. And on and uh <clears throat> Have you and you're gonna publish it someday? No, you, probably you've got to not. keep it to yourself and beat people with it, huh? I'm probably not going to... Uh -huh. It's. I just don't have the... I don't well, know. when XG came out, the first thing that John and I, Hagen and I did is we did exactly what you're saying for a five-point match. Yeah. And we've been teaching it to our students for about the last 12 years. We've got 25 teachers at the Back Ammon Learning Center. We all use that same information that we developed by using XG for very, very extensive rollouts. See, I think this is less of a cube than the uh -huh. one because of the anchor, of course. The anchor helps a lot. But what about a fan here? Only I mean, six is to cover. You got a one to get out. Okay, he's not even there thinking about it. What? Covering. Is it worth? <laughs> I would have maybe thought about. Yeah. Before he rolled the six one. Before he rolled the six one. <laughs> But I, it might not have been a, a cube. What's he thinking? Come on down. You don't want to go to the east point. That's it. All the way, baby. That's it. Three six from the bar. No. Six is forced. Six is forced. See, I move the six first and then look at it. You know it's forced. That's the way to do it. I always do the forced part first. No, 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 no. Now six four is a horror. <laughs> you want to get your checkers in while he's got he's while he's still on the bar. No, no, no. You got to play seven to five. No question. You come in. I agree. While he's on the bar, you come in. And double sixes doesn't hurt you. It doesn't play. Now it hurts you. <laughs> Need a shot. This is too good. This still is too like good to double. Two hundred. Too good or something. I've just I read a lot from uh, how the timing of uh, what be, how they do things <coughs> take and the fact he's thinking about this is just to me is there's no think here <coughs> well, lot, he's a long way too good even yeah, at the score some way it's, sometimes it's poker I don't know I mean he can roll double six and double and six four but how about a four two <laughs> I didn't see. Four you didn't two. think about four two, did you? I admit I didn't see that. 
But I don't you would have gotten there in time. I know I you don't think that. I don't think that would make it. That must be too good. Yeah. This is right. Don't volunteer even though it's ugly. I didn't think it... I didn't realize it doesn't have to leave a shot. It doesn't leave a shot. Yeah. Double six. Double five. Double four plays safe. But ugly. Yeah, this uh, maybe think about. I don't... This is difficult. It's confusing. Six five, six four, six three. Six two, but cashing and getting the three away, I. Not a boy. Not yeah, I think. What do you think? Cashing. He's a three. Could be too good. A three. He didn't get it. Okay. Could be too good. Could be too good. Take. Yeah, what about now? Yeah, there's a lot of repeaters in this sit position, aren't there's there? So many gammons, it's confusing. So there's a lot of repeaters. Three, six, five, double six, double six, five. Four is a repeater. Six, four. Yep. And then you get hit, you'll. Pretty much. Okay, he needs a one or a two here, or doubles. One or a two, really, and he needs to keep from leaving a shot. This feels a more comfortable play on. Because this is probably your last shot. If you're leaving one, it's your last shot. Yeah. I think those... Those decisions were really interesting, actually. Yeah, but now the gammon is is very unlikely. I would cube him out right now. I don't think there's enough gammons left. So 6, 2, 5, 2, 4, 2, 3, 2 players. Or two four plays. Two players. 6, 2, 5, 2. I would play on. But maybe it's close. I think it's trivial. I don't think there's that many gammons. I'd just double them out. So the question is, if you roll a one, is it a play on if you roll a one? Still too good by one. Yeah. Eight. Okay. If you roll a one, it must still then be a play on. Depending on what white rolls, of course. Thomas says so few numbers now. Yeah, it's only six, two, five, two. If I'm in the chouette, I look and see if he's how, where he's on the sheet. If he's stuck, I double. He might take. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can do that because he didn't waste a single pip. He can stay for that reason. If I was wasting even one or two pips, I would definitely uh, make make the other play. One hundred and thirty-four. Is that good? Yeah, especially since you've got the other match going at the same time. We're getting a nice number of viewers. I'm oh, I'm sorry. There isn't another match right now. You're right. Five o'clock. Who's playing? Is it the world champion? There's not. No. <laughs> he gave an eight cube. That's clever. That's really smart. You're much more likely to give a drop when you give an eight cube. There isn't another match. Now I'm confused. No, there's not. Oh, okay. There's not. That's a great trick, guys. I I I I've done that in money games too. Instead of putting the cube in two, you put on four. You're much more likely to get a drop. Oh, oh, there is another match going. Oh, that's right. There they are. It's the other semifinal match that's going on. Sure. We're split. Both 8-1. Wow, both 8-1. Yeah, why don't we split? Uh, I do. I always do. Always, always. Anytime, anywhere. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okay, when you're down 8-1... I tend to get a little aggressive. I wrote an article on fear. You have very little fear. You already, you already figured out you're going to lose the match probably, so you take some chances, guys. Yeah. You always figure out you're going to probably lose the match, so you think you're not afraid to take chances. But there's nothing scarier and nastier than being up 8-1 and losing the match. 
So, so you're he, starting to worry. He should have made the four point with the four two. Yeah, I think so. He's eight one now. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, now he gets there. Okay. I think uh, Johan needs to be much more aggressive on the cube. Especially now. Of uh, course, he may not have the opportunity. Fernando's going to be much more careful with the cube. He's no dummy. Or he wouldn't be sitting here. Yes, I don't know. Uh, I like... Uh, just to the nine. Let's see. If you come out with the five and down with the six. Come out with the six and down with the five. Uh, that stacks a little too much. I like this first play. Just go around. I don't like the stack. I would probably play 20 to 9 without much confidence, but you can just play safe. Yeah, I like this. You don't but necessarily want to get hit with 4 3 well, or 5. But for any 4, he'll hit. Yeah, it doesn't dupe anything. I don't like going to the 2 point. So it's got to be one of those so plays. If you're behind in the race, I suppose it's not so bad to get hit, but I don't really understand. Yeah, I'll go to the 9. I like the 9. Then you can make it with a 4. And you can make the bar with a 6-2. Yeah, I like this play a lot. Or a double 2. Yep. Can't, no afford, to, can't afford to make the 3 point. And leave that blot out there right now. With, yeah. You're outboarded. Exactly, yeah. I don't like coming into the six here. I think I just tempted to take two checkers off the six point. Nope, I'm going to stack. I'm not going to run. Mm. Well, the race might, might dictate the run here. It might be right to run off. Looks like the race is a little better than I thought. Uh, I don't think that's bad. Now, if he's up in the race, it's fine. But it's silly to race when a guy's going to roll double six against you. Put it down in the center in four hundred and one nineteen. It's the idea. One twelve, one twenty, one twenty six. Seven up. One nineteen, one twenty six. Doesn't uh, look like it is. Fernando's winning. Apparently, that's good. My fast count. Right. If it, that's the case, then you you should stack and keep going. Yeah, I think maybe the maybe this is better even. Even You're with the race? Ahead. Yeah. It's not easy to come off the 14 and 13. It's harder than you think. It's not. But. So now the race is even if I haven't miscounted. Uh -huh. Now what do you do? Let's come down. Play safe. Yeah, come down. Slot the five. So he's thinking about the race and just just checking, but oh, that's a big one. Make the five points pretty clear. That's a big roll. I don't think we have to ask about the luck factor so far in this match. I think Fernando's done very nicely. Could that ever be a like a small double and a I big don't, pass? I don't think so. Or just always a play on. There are some numbers. At this score, I just did two open points and a nice board on the other side. I don't see cubing there at all. I, I'm with him. I would have rolled just as fast. You're not, you're not mad if you get too good. No, six five six four, I think. No, mm, okay, no, this is okay. This is okay. One six, he won't, he won't run. Just... Yeah. It goes there. One to play, Very right? smooth, very smooth. Six to five. What's he thinking well, about? Well, you're worried about double sixes. Oh, it's on the 10 point. Yeah, you worry okay, about double I sixes. I saw the uh, position. Here, you, know, you can play double fives. He was just checking that. I like this play. Well, this is the play. I like this play. No reason to give yourself bad double sixes. 
This is the play, yeah. Oh, wow. Don't even think, just do. It's such a nice position to be in. One more match. Well, n if you win this match, well, you're in the finals yeah. of the fighters. The one thing you do, don't do is bring it into the six point. I never want... Uh, all my spares on my six and five, and he saw that yeah. because your next roll gets, can make things very, very awkward. Yeah, so yeah. this is the right play. This is a good play. That's very bad right here. Remember this yeah, position. Yeah. I agree. You can even play six to four. Yes. Right? Yeah, like I was saying, he must be delighted yeah, in this position. The guy's on the bar. Okay, maybe double four is a little bit of a weak nut. But... Well, except he's favored to come in 20 times. You have to worry about it. Actually, you'd rather he didn't come in. You want to win some gammas here. I, yeah. I'm happy that he danced. I'm happy. He did a one, two, or three, and you're okay. Oh, it, it, it's just life couldn't one. be sweeter. Take him off. You just play safe, no? no. Take him off. No. Take him off. But then you one more. Up. No, then the last one comes to the ace. Yeah, yeah, that's my plan. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, yes. If you lose from this position, <laughs> then you're going to be... Not the game. I mean the match. If you lose from this... Oh. You know an XG where it does the session summary? You probably did. It has the graph. Yep. And it, if you, you know, your big favorite to win the match, and suddenly the, the line goes zoop right down. We've all, it's happened to all of us. You know, just in two rolls. Uh huh. So one away, ten away is what's the match equity at one away, ten away? Uh, 4.87. That sounds a little high. I just made that up. Yeah. I, I learned this from I, Jake Jacobs. You just throw out a number and everybody believes it yeah. if you do it fast. Sounds a little high. Sounds a little high? Yeah, because one away, seven away is like <laughs> it's, um, about nine. So one away, six away would be about seven. One away, eight away would be about seven. One away, nine away would be about... Yeah, it's a little high. I'm close though. 4.87. Maybe it's 4.83. <clears throat> It's not good. Now, why don't they turn this to Crawford and get rid of that damn cube so there's no question? <laughs> now, what's the first question you ask yourself at Crawford? Do gammons matter or not? Ask yourself that question. And the answer is it does. Not huge, but it, you don't want to lose a gammon here. And you'd like to win a gammon if you're trailing. 4.07, sorry to cut you off. 4.07? Yeah. All right, so I was close. Yeah. Um, people usually don't question me. I'm not used to being around guys like you. They usually take my numbers. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you see what it said there? Huh? It says XG Phil Simborg. <laughs> Who's that man? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very proud to be a part of that software. I think it's it's really changed the game for the better. In so many ways. But I hear a lot of old timers that say, Oh, I wish you never had a bot ever. When you go back to the days where everybody argued about every play hmm. <clears throat> and you could prop it and never never tell. There is something to that, but I think XG because you can learn the game, so look how many young people we have coming in the game right now that they're able to compete with us old timers because they have XG. Right. If not, if it took them ten years to get as good as us old timers, they wouldn't they wouldn't do it at all. So I think it's great for the game. Mm. And then there's people who say, oh, everybody plays like XG. That's not true. Read James Vogel's book. You'll see 12 of the top players in the world disagreeing on lots of fairly standard plays. Brilliant, brilliant book. Brilliant book. James Jimmy Vogel. Yep. Shout out to James Vogel. Yes, and his son who played doubles. I'm sharing, I'm sharing his bed. Uh -huh. Not quite, but he put me up. Good. This is over. It's Do you over. make the bar or the two? Make the bar. Oh, it's 10-1. Of course you make the bar. Yeah, make the bar. Gammons don't matter. Or well, maybe not. I don't know. You can get prime. That's the weird yeah, thing. Yeah, but... Well, double three is going to work. I always like to start with a six prime and go from there. Not always, but generally speaking. If gammons matter, then... Actually, you, having yeah. said, yeah, 3-1 will play. Double three will play. All the numbers that don't come from the 20 point will play. Yep. Come out and hit. Oh, you don't hit here, huh? No, I, it's a 4-3. 
No, th- oh, no, oh, oh, four, oh, three. You can't, couldn't it? Yeah. Now this, this is the counterplay. This is your fault. You warned about this. If he wins from here, then the guys. Ah. Uh, well, he can anchor now and still win. Two well, point anchor, like one and a half goes uh, on average to anchor. Maybe in two and a half. Goes. A two point anchor with the uh, timing, gonna win more than ten percent, twelve percent. Did you break the point to hit? I think you do. Not with a four point board against you. Well, okay. I go always, I'm always in favor of. You're always in favor. Of? I, I, I'm probably wrong, but I don't want him to anchor. Oh, I don't either, but I don't want to get hit and lose my prime, and get and dance. Oh, he's not even going to hit loose. No, I might because I got more. No, I don't have an extra builder. I don't do it. Maybe I don't not. do it. I'd no, rather see him no, anchor. I, I don't know either. I'd rather see him anchor than get hit. Uh, I don't know. That's the question. Would you rather get hit or see him anchor? Plus the fact that he might not make it anyway. How would you like to be on you, the bar coming in here? That's but scary. Now what? He's got 15% or something. Um. He's got maybe just a little more than 15%. But how much percentage would he have if he hit you? you yes. Remember. I would have hit with the full. Yeah, I don't know. We wouldn't even be having this conversation if he hadn't rolled a two, which means we're hindsighting ourselves. And I really don't think that's the right way to ana analyze any play at all. I always hear... I won't name his name in Chicago. He said, yeah, but mine worked. You, you know, that's a very weak argument. Or it didn't work if you didn't do it. It's what they call a specious argument. Okay. If you rolled something with a one there, you clear the seven point. Uh-huh. You Just don't want to put three checkers on the, uh, on the seven point. Very nice roll here. Beautifully, beautifully brought in. Thanks to the dice gods on this one. Nothing can go wrong now. This is match is over. It's impossible. And I love when I say that and my partners get mad at me. Yeah, well, actually, White's timing is a little suspect now. He's not going to be able to hold yeah. the... How about one off the five? Why... why? Why I don't understand leaving a possible shot with six four when you could just take one off the five and he's running out of time. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that play. I'm not sure. I, I don't think he's desperate to clear the six. He would have cleared it anyway. At yeah, no, I, at I, no risk. I did not like that play. I didn't. He could have made a play where nothing leaves a shot. And yeah, holds the position a little longer while White cracks. Again, he's playing for the clearing the back point. That might have been right to keep a spare there also. I think so. That's it. And he has to run. That's going to be game. It's like, what is it? Ten percent, maybe, or is that too much? No, it's more than ten percent. Maybe more than yeah. Well, just a double six and a big number away or something. I'll like remind that. everybody: this is a Crawford game. That's why the cube is in the center, and we need to have the scoreboard start showing that. I'm going to check on this. For the future, yeah, future it, it matches. Should, yeah, it's no very question. misleading to see this no scoreboard that way. Oh, look, double two. Was that double two? Okay, there's there's a there's breath of fresh air here. So, a lesson here: whether he wins or not, you don't resign until it's mathematically impossible. And if you're not sure, just keep rolling, and you'll find out. Maybe five percent, seven percent. I didn't think it was that much, but it could be. Maybe less. Yeah, it's very, very thin, very thin. Yeah, he, he, he needs two huge doubles. That right there is the nail in the coffin, I think. If you play five to four, double five only takes off yeah. three men, but I don't know. But you get another one off a of double four, so I don't know either. Oh, this could have, there could be a swing on. There could have been a swing on. Yep, I wish that man go. on the four point would be off. There would be it would be six, one man on six, one man on the five, one man on the four. Oh, that's it. But no, there would be no double five would have got uh -huh. off. The swing was on double five. Uh huh. 
Wow. It's just a, a fun match. Uh, I, mean, I want to look at all the cube action in this match because we were all over the place, you and me, and, uh, and people watching as far as whether it was a double, whether it was a take. There were some really tricky situations. And uh, very, very well played. Tough match. He had no chance. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah. So what's up now? Are they going to... Uh, don't, don't forget to come back at 10 o'clock for the next round. I don't I don't think he wants to. He's, well, he looks like he's tired. Huh? He, he looks like he's just going walking away. Let him go. All right, so Bill Rawls is here to make sure I make the right announcements. First of all, at 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to have the next round. The winner, which is Fernando against... Oh, Zedek leads 10-1 in the round break. So Fernando and Zedek will play at 10 o'clock. And the winner plays for the World Championship at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So be here at 10 o'clock, which is right now it's just a little after 6 o'clock. At the same time, a semifinal of the Super Jackpot on Stream 2. We don't know who that's going to be, but that's tonight at 10 o'clock. Okay, and during the World Championship, you can either watch that or you can. I'm going to I'm going to give a, a dance where people can watch me dance. Whichever one you think is going to be more interesting. Yeah. I'm doing it. Ladies' final tournament at noon tomorrow. We'll stream right here. Hopefully, on stream one with the yeah, with the XG file. Do we know who's yeah? Uh, a game show a pre-game show okay pre all right yeah i got it so tune in at 2 30 for the pre-game show and announcements uh tomorrow before the world championship video sounds great uh hit the like button uh, visit uh back m and galaxy and back m and academy and back m and academy and oh, wait, don't go away i have oh. to thank you you were fun to deal with thank and i love it how much i want really to i want to pay you before i leave uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, i owe you what a hundred right I, I, oh you mean the two dollars oh i was just kidding. no i was like oh here's like my no 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 money. i was kidding when i say a dollar i don't want to sound like we're game i was betting thousands oh yes yeah but yeah but i'll pay you later yeah, okay. i'll pay you. it was code yeah well, thank you so much, Simon. You, it was fun, for watching. Fun, fun working with you. Thank you all for watching. Come to Monte Carlo. This is really something. By the way, if you can't make it to Monte Carlo, come to Florida in October. And uh, I got an extra bedroom. You can all stay with me. And then we're going to go on to Jamaica the next week. Come to that one. Cyprus is coming up. Uh, it, I mean, just I, I can't tell you how much fun it is to be at these events with all these great people. Thanks again. See you later. I'll be back uh, at 10 o'clock tonight, and we'll have some really couple, one very big match for sure, and then a super jackpot that's pretty good also. Thank you. Bye-bye.